board. Okay, hi. So, uh, welcome to class. Let's go ahead and start with our alphabet. So, we need our, um, our left hand is our, sorry, my before hand is my, Yeah, my before hand is my left hand. I'm going to have to take that off so we can hear it on the video. Um, my right hand is my? Uh, after hand. Good. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, the initial letter of the alphabet is? A. Good. And the final letter of the alphabet is? G. Good. And the medial letters of the alphabet? M and M. Good. How many letters total do we have in the alphabet? 26. Good. And what types are they? What types of letters do we have? Uh, vowels and consonants. That's right, vowels and consonants. Okay. All right, so take your before hand and put it on the A and your after hand and put it on the N and let's touch and name the letters on the alphabet strip, okay? Okay. Uh, a. Yeah, go ahead. A. Keep going. A. Oh, B. C. D. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. U. R. S. T. All right, well done. So for today's alphabet practice, we're going to do our missing letter deck. Um, we've done it before, I don't know if you remember, where <clears throat> I show you the, let me stop showing this so you can see better. Um, I show you this card and you complete, fill in the blank. So we'd say A, B, C. A, E, A, B, C, B, C. D, C, D, E, D, E, F, E, F, G, F, G, H, G, H, I, H, I, J, uh, I, J, K, J, K, L, K, L, M, L, M, N, M N O N O P O P Q P Q R Q R S uh, R R S T uh, S T U T U V U V W V W X W X Y X Y Z. Good. You did those with a lot more confidence than I remember last time. Um, so sequence, alphabetical sequence is also alphabetical order. Sequence means order. All right, let's go on to our oops, alphabet deck. So you get to name the letters or graphemes that we see. Go for it. A, R, B, L, Z, N, M, F, digraph and G, O, D, U, S, P, What was that? A. Dag off H. G. E. W. V. Okay. Well done. And we now we get to do our uh, keyword and sounds. Let's see if I can make that bigger. Okay. So, um, 
take a look at our keyword and sound and say them. S. No, uh, sock. Thank you. Nose. A clue. Fish. Uh, hat, pig, elephant, kite, um, mother, leaf, or wagon, uh, dog, the Zipper, nest, mm. sink, mm. mop, mm. rabbit, or bait, gun, it's off. Hmm? Octopus? I didn't hear the All. octopus, excuse me. Pink, mm. bat, b, apple, a, ah. watch, wa. Mm, just awe. Oh, watch, I awe. watch awe. All right, we're just making the sound of the letter A. But you're right, it always, that awe sound comes after a W. That was our new learning from last time, huh? All right, you did a great job with that. So we get to move on to our new learning for the day. And today's learning um, is a little, it's a little complicated. So it might, I need you to pay attention. We're going to learn some new ways of making sounds you're already familiar with. So, uh, let's see, repeat these words after me and um, feel free to use your mirror if that helps <clears throat> to look and see what your mouth does. So your first word is cap. Cap. Caught. Caught. Cub. Cub. Clam. Clam. What sound did you hear that was like in those words? I the cup sound right do you know that sound have you heard have we learned the k sound before yes that's right and what do we call that sound what's our mouth picture we use uh, like a back kicker that's right it's an unvoiced back kicker right because there's no no voice there it's just k. and what letter do you know that makes that sound k k right we normally spell it with a k so Let's think about that sound though. Is it a stopping sound or a continuing sound? Is it kind of a continuing? Does it keep going or does it? It kind of stops. So like is continuing because it could just go on and on and ah it keeps going, but just stops. And is it open or blocked? Back it's kicker. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's open. Back kicker. Uh, to make that sound, your tongue is kind of kicking the back of your mouth. So we call that a blocked sound. And voiced or unvoiced. We already covered that one, right? Is it voiced or unvoiced? It's unvoiced. Unvoiced, right. So if it's an unvoiced and it's blocked, is it a vowel sound or a consonant sound? It's a consonant. Uh -huh, that's right. Okay, so now let's share our screen and we are going to... Um, write some words on the board. Oop. Uh, we've already done our reading decks. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to write some words and we will take a look at them and see what they have in common. So here's the word cap. C-A-P. Caught. C-O-T. C-U-B. Cub. And C-L-A-M clam so what do you what letter do you see as a like in these words the c at the at the final i'm sorry initial position yes i like that you noticed its position too right so at least in these words this letter c is in the initial position um but what do you see that's coming after the c what letter is after the c this is a vowel oh. right an A, an O, a U. Whoa, this isn't a vowel. What is this? It's a consonant. That's right. If we see the letter 
C, and it comes in front of an A, an O, a U, or a consonant letter, big C always stands for consonant letter, then what sound does it make? Uh, it makes like a K. That's right. It makes the, sorry, I meant to make that a K, a K sound that we're familiar with, right? Okay, so we have a key word to help us remember this sound that the letter C can make whenever it's in front of an A, O, U, or consonant. Okay, um, here's your, wait a second. There's your letter C. Now let me give you the riddle to help you remember the sound it makes. This is a small open container used for drinking. It is sometimes used as a, with a saucer. Eight fluid ounces make up this measurement. Liam, what is our key word? Cup. A cup, that's right. Cup makes a k sound. Look how we've coded this C, Liam. See this line right here? That's how we know this is a k sound. What are you drawing over there? Are you just doodling or are you writing some of these words down? Yeah. Okay. So I need you to get your paper where you um, do your cursive. Let's see. Oh, here's our sound ship, by the way. We don't need to add anything to it, but you can see the back kicker is right down here making a sound. Okay. This is a sound we already have, so we don't need to add it. All right, here's your letter C. <clears throat> Let me get my drawing pen so I can draw with you. All right, so why don't you take your pencil and I want you to uh, name and trace this letter. We're gonna curve under and over and then stop and then curve back around and release. Okay, so name and trace, say C. C. Okay, now go beside and Pick a copy. Uh, uh, C. Good, and then go below and name and make a copy. C. That's right, C, good. So I'm going to give you the uh, name of the letter and I want you to give me the keyword and sound. Okay, C. Uh, cup. C. C. Cup. C. Cup. K. Okay, now I'm going to give you the sound and you give me the keyword and name. K. Cup. C. Cup. C. Cup. C. Good. The name of the letter is? C. The keyword and sound are? Up. See. Nuh uh. Cup. Okay. So if I give you the sound, you echo the sound, and then you name and write the letter on that last blank. Make one last copy. Name it. Name and write it. Uh, C. Thank you. And as a review, what do we call the sound? Kicker. Yep, an unvoiced back kicker. Okay, so in the future, when I give you, you know, when we're doing our instant spelling deck and I give you the sound, you are going to write, what are you gonna write? A C. That's right, if I give you the K sound, you're going to write letter K, because that was the first one we learned, and that's the most common, and then you're gonna write the letter C, okay? Um, but let's keep in mind, the letter C makes the K sound whenever it comes in front of an A, O, U, or a consonant. So let's go ahead and do some coding and reading. Do you have your code and read page, Andy? This one, let's see, here we go, okay? Do you have that page, Liam?
And the, the rule we just learned is if you see the letter C in front of an A, O, U, or a consonant, it makes the K sound. All right, what's the other rule we do we know for coding? Do our vowel theme song. A vowel in a closed syllable short go with a breathe. A vowel in an open acid, accented syllable is long go with make on. That's great. Okay, let's go ahead and read this these first word, this first line together, okay? Um, and re oh, and remember, whenever you have that C that makes a k sound, we code it with something called a back kicker. See that line? It kind of makes it look like a K, doesn't it? So our first word, I've got a vowel on a closed syllable. I'm going to code it with a breathe. And it looks like a letter C is in front of an A, so I'm going to give it a back kicker. The word is cat. This next one, I've got a vowel on a closed syllable. I code it with a breathe. The letter C is in front of a U, so I give it a back kicker. Oh, and I've got two adjacent consonants. What do I do with that one? Us, one no. All right, and the word is cuff. Here I've got a vowel and a closed syllable, yeah. short, cut it with a breathe. I've got the letter C in front of a consonant, so I'm going to give it a back kicker. The word is clip. Okay, and then why don't you do, let's see, let's give you some tough ones. Let's give you row five. Okay, a vowel, it's closed syllable, short, cut with a breathe, cab, cut with a Oh, don't forget, uh, back kicker, C in front yeah. of an A. C is in... C in front of A, uh, uh, give it a back kicker. Good. Okay. All right. About a close syllable short, code with three. Uh, C is in front of L, give it a back kicker. Mm -hmm. It's in front of a consonant, you could say, because it doesn't matter which consonant. So far, we've only done these L's, but it could show up in front of another. Oh, look at, see, so take a look at row seven real quick. You see that last word? Yeah. That's an R, isn't it? So a C in front of a consonant, give it a back kicker. Okay, okay. sorry, I distracted you. Go ahead and do the last word on row five. Well, the closed syllable short, so breathe, cross. Uh, there's two adjacent consonants, cross on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, we've, excuse me, <laughs> we have an R right there. How did I miss that? Duh. There's no back kicker. Yeah, read it for me. Oh. Cross. Good. Okay, so you just coded some words with a back kicker. That's fabulous, where the letter C makes a k sound. Okay, we have a new discovery to make. Um, let's see, let me clear my screen for you. Okay, I want you to repeat these words after me. And feel free to look in the mirror to see what your mouth is doing so you can figure out what mouth picture it makes. Okay, your first word is scent. Scent. Sist. Sist. And prince. Prince. What sound did you hear like in those words? The sound. Yes. Do you know that sound? Yeah, like a, it can make, it can be made by a C and an E. Hmm. When an E is in front of a C, hmm. it can sometimes make it. Okay. We'll get to that. But how do we normally write the sound? Yes. That's right. And is this a, what do we call this sound? What mouth picture do we use? A uh, thin stream. That's right. Here's our thin stream sound, an unvoiced thin stream. Now, is this a continuing or stopping sound? Continuing? Yes. Is it open or blocked? Blocked. Good. And voiced or unvoiced? It's Unvoiced. Good. Okay. So is this a vowel or a consonant? It's a consonant. That's right. So let me write some words on the board so we can talk about how we make the s sound. We've got C. Oh, uh, let me change. I don't like writing with red. Okay. So we write, I'm going to write the word scent. C E N T. Cyst. C I S T and Prince P R I N C E. Okay, so what letter do you see as a like in these words? Uh, well, the 
C. That's right. E? They all have a C. I guess the C I works. Mm, good, good I. You notice the C comes in front of the E, or the C comes in front of the I, or the C comes in front of E here. Right. So if you have the letter C and it shows up in front of an E or an I, what sound does it make? Uh, uh, C. Yeah, sound. Yeah, that sound. Good. So, um, we just earlier we learned that if you see the letter C in front of an A O U, oh my goodness, my pen's not working, or a consonant, then it made a. Let's get that. Then it makes a k sound. Okay. So we've got two rules, and notice all these vowels are counted for, right? The A O U and the E and the I, but the K sound also has when it comes in front of a consonant, okay? So these are the rules about the letter C and what sound they make. Um, oh, sorry, let's review, let's figure out our um, keyword for the letter C. Here's your letter C, um, but when it makes a sound. This place is larger or more important than a town. People live and work here. It has a main hall that houses the governing offices, a governing council, a manager, and a mayor. What do we call a place that's larger or more important than a town? People live and work there. They have hall that governing Wait, offices. Uh, you want me to show you the picture? A city? Yes! That's oh. my city. Hmm. And take a look at that C. Do you see That's a little? Good. Almost has like an S written under it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We call that a cedilla. A cedilla C. Okay, because the letter C can make two different sounds. We're gonna we code them differently so we know what kind of sound it makes. So if we're writing the letter C in cursive, why don't you get your your um, cursive page out? We're gonna practice writing C again. I think you should have another page in your packet. Yep, see? Okay. So, as usual, I want you to name and trace the letter. Curve under, over, stop, pull back, down, around, release. C. C. Yep. Go ahead and name and make a copy next to it. C. And then go below. Name and make a copy. Uh, C. Good. Now I want you to cross out that last blank. You know why? Why? Because the sound is sometimes spelled with a letter C, but that's not the most common one. That's kind of an irregular. We call it an irregular spelling. The most regular way to make this sound is with a letter S. So we're not going to practice writing a letter C when we hear this sound, okay? So let's do our card tricks. We're only going to do half of them because it's an irregular sound. Uh, it's a irregular spelling for the letter C. So I'll give you the name of the letter and I want you to give me the keyword in sound. C. City. C. City. C. City. Right. Um, so the name of the letter is? C. And the keyword in sound? City. C. City. C. Right. So um, we call this the thin stream sound. Sorry. Thin stream sound. And it's spelled with the letter S most often but sometimes a letter C if it's followed by an E, I, E or I. Okay, so let's do our coding for this sound. Uh, where's your, there's your code and read words at the very bottom. We just have a few to practice. Uh, I forgot to share the screen, excuse me. Let's have you on the same page as me, huh? Okay, so again, a vowel and a close syllable short, code it with a Breathe, a vowel and an open accented syllables long. We'll cut it with a macron. Looks like these words are all in closed syllables. All right, I'll do the first one and you can do the other two. Do you have this page? It was the yeah. same one. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I know. 
something dropped or something. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Fabulous. Okay, about the close of the shark, kill it with a breeze. Uh huh. And what do we do with the C? Give it a. Cedilla. Cedilla? Yeah, it's basically like a little, little letter S underneath the C. Okay, so how do we say that word? Cedilla. Oh, how do we say this word though, now that we've coded oh. it? Cyst. Good. Next word? A valve close to double short, close to breathe. I'll give the C a cedilla. Right, because it's in front of an E. And the word is? A cent. Good. Uh, a valve close to double short, close to breathe. I'll give the C a cedilla and cross out the double adjacent stumble. Nice. And our word is? So. Good. Okay. So we've learned two ways to code the letter C, right? If it's in yep. front of an A, O, U. Ah! My pen. We code it with a K back. It makes a K sound. If the C is in front of an E or an I, it makes a sound. And we code it with a cedilla. Okay. Let's go on to our instant words. You have your instant word list. We're doing columns today, 51 through 60. Instant oh, yeah. And with columns, we always read them top to bottom. So we'll do the first yeah. column together. Do you, have, do you have your paper or do you need um, to look at mine? What do they look like? We're doing the columns. 51 through 60. Okay. All right, good. All right, we'll do the first column together and you'll read the second column on your own, okay? Then. Then. About. About. Many. Many. So. So. Up. Up. Other. Other. These. These. Out. Out. Them. Them. Will. Will. Thank you. You read the next ones? Uh, will. Them. Out. These. Other. Up. So. Many. Then. Oh, you skipped the second to last one. Oh, about. You're right. <laughs> so <clears throat> instant words usually don't require a lot of work to figure out how to read them, but we need to pay attention because sometimes they're a little and they they show up in between all these other words. So don't don't skip over them, okay? Read carefully. Um, Cause they can change the meaning of what you're reading. All right, good job with the instant words. Let's go on to our, our uh, sentences. We're going to code and read some sentences. So let me take us to our page here. We've got oh, the sentence. We're going to code and read sentences. A sentence begins with a capital letter. And why don't you repeat after me? A sentence is a group of words. Sentence is a group of words. That begins with a capital letter. Begins with a capital letter. And ends with a punctuation mark. Ends with a punctuation mark. Right. It has a subject and a predicate. As a subject and a predicate. And forms a complete thought. Please. Good. The instant words and the sentences that we're reading today are for, the, the, and of. And we'll circle them when we see them in the sentence. I want to review some of the, the coding rules we'll see in our sentences. Obviously, a vowel and a closed syllable is short, code it with a brief. A vowel and an, a vowel and an open accent and syllable is long, code it with a macron. <laughs> Uh, we are going to see the letter C, and it's if you see it in front of an A, O, U, or a consonant, how is it pronounced? Uh, oh yeah, it's the K. Right, it's pronounced like a K, and we code it with a K back. If you see the letter C in front of an E or an I, how is it pronounced? Yes. 
Good. And we coat it with a... Cedilla. Uh, Cedilla. Right. What do we do with digraphs? Underline. Good. And what do we do if we see two adjacent consonants? Cross the last one out. Good. And this is a rule that we learned last week. I don't know if you remember it. So let's see. I'm going to write it up here and see if you know what it means. Why is when a W is in, no, when a, a W is in front of an A. Uh-huh. Code A with, uh. Diuresis. Yeah, diuresis. It makes an uh sound. But the other one I was, the other rule, we're not going, this one actually doesn't show up in our, our reading today. But I'm glad you remembered that. This rule Remember that one? The letter S. So if you have a voiced sound, like vowel, and it's followed by an S, how do we pronounce that S? Uh, like Z. That's right. It's a voice to make Z sound. All right, good. Okay, so those are all of our rules. Um, do you have your, um, do, 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 your sentences? We're going to code and read our sentences. Here they are. Let's do sentence one together. Oh my goodness, and I forgot I put all my rules on the other page. So let me just put our sight words up here real fast and I bet you'll remember all the other rules. Oh. Okay, so sentence number one, let's do this one together. I've got a vowel and a closed syllable, it's short. I've got a digraph TH, that. Here's a vowel and a closed syllable. It's short. Two adjacent consonants. We'll cross one out. The word is bill. Now I've got an I in front of an S. Vowel's short. Cut it with a breathe. But that voiced sound in front of the S means the S is voiced. So I'm going to cross it out. So it's is. Here's a sight word. Here's a sight word. And now I've got a vowel and a closed syllable. It's short. Cut it with a breathe. Oh, and here's the letter C, and it's in front of an O. Do you remember how we code it? The back kicker. Ding, ding. You're awesome. Cost. Here's a sight word. We'll circle it. Sight word, we circle it. Now a vowel and a close syllable is short. Code it with a brief. I've got a diagraph TH. Underline it. Math. And now I've got a vowel and a close syllable is short. Code it with a brief. Two adjacent consonants. Cross one out. Now what do I do with my C? You uh a back kicker. That's right, because it's in front of a consonant, huh? Class. Okay, so my sentence, that bill is for the cost of the math class. Okay, Liam, let's have you do number 11 on your own. Wait. <coughs> About, uh, circle a sideboard. Mm-hmm. Give, uh, give the C, uh, Cedilla. Yep, Cedilla. Cedilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and cross up the other adjacent consonant. Good. Which I told at. Yep. At is a sight word. Well, it's a sight word, but it you can easily cut it because it's a vowel and a closed syllable, so... I say yeah. code it. Okay. Uh, okay. Actually. It's just good practice. We do this just to practice um, our sounds. Okay. A vowel is close to a short code three camp. I'm going to give the C a back kicker. Mm -hmm, because it's in front of an A. Uh, vowel is close to a short code three. Give the C a back kicker. Why do we give it a back kicker? Because it's in front of a, because it's, yeah, it's in front of a O. Good. A vowel with close syllable short code three. Uh, a vowel with close syllable short, short code with three. Give the C a cedilla. Mm-hmm, because it's in front of an E. Because it's, it's in front of the E and, yeah. I forgot to prep you for this one, but there's one more thing to code on this last word. The NT. Hmm. 
I'm going to do it if you want to look. Yeah, that's, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just noticed it as we were reading. I'm like, wait, I think that's plural. That's an S, meaning more than one. So, it's a, what do we call that? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's. It's a, uh, a letter or letters at the end of a base word that changes the. Derivative. Oh, a derivative. The word is a derivative. Oh, yeah, the word's derivative. Yeah, but we call That's, this a suffix S. The suffix yeah. and then the. Yeah. yeah, Ian, uh, Liam, you did great. You've got uh, your spell at camp cost ten cents. Good. I love that you not not only your did you remember your Cedilla C's in front of an E or I, but you also got your K backs whenever they show up in front of an A O U or consonant. You did great. Let's move on. We are doing a rat pages next. I want us to do rep page 19.2. Liam. We're doing 19.2, Liam. Okay. All right. I need you to take a look at this first section. What do you see that they all have in common? The back kicker. Mm -hmm. Right, because they all show up in front of O's or A's, U's. Okay, so repeat the first line after me. Cast. Cast. Colt. Oh, Colt. Cuff. Cuff. Cost. Cost. Camp. Camp. Read the next few lines. Camp. Cast. Cost. Colt. Cuff. Cuff. Cast, cost, camp, colt, cost, camp, cast, colt, cuff. Good. All right, let's go on to the next section. What do you see that these words have in common? Uh, the C-E or yeah. the C-I, like this. That's right. So they make this sound. Cyst. Zist. Sept. Sept. Cell. Cell. Sisp. Zist. It's not a z, it's a s, sisp. Sist. With a P on the end. Sisp. Sist. <laughs> I keep hearing a t sound instead of a p sound. Sisp. Zist. Wait, what? what, what? Sisp. Oh, and maybe that's it. Maybe you're lost. I'm having you repeat this one right here. C I S P on the top line. Oh, but ma mine says C I S T. The first one does, right? Yeah. And then set, and then sell, yeah. and then. Yeah, I know. Okay, sisp. Do you have this one? Do our pages not match up? No. It's just that that's the only different one. It's cyst on his page. Oh my goodness, how weird. <laughs> Well, I guess I, I might have like an old copy or something. I didn't even know. Ah, okay. Thank you, Liam. I'm sorry I kept nagging you about that. You were reading it correctly. Scent is our last one. Scent. Okay, go ahead and try the next three lines and I'll listen to what you say. <clears throat> okay. Uh, scent. Uh, cyst. Uh, cyst. Scent cell. So scent this sept this uh this cyst good this uh cyst so sept scent cyst okay interesting okay do the this last section past camp Cost, sell, sent, cult, cyst, sept, cost, camp, sell, sept, cyst, cuff, cyst, uh, cyst, cult, sent, 
cast cuff. Okay, good work. Yeah, I noticed that it was it was tempting to make a zzz sound. They are similar, right? This and zzz, one's voiced and not voiced. Um, also, I think what was tricky is whenever we had the s sound, very few of these are real words. Okay, like sept. Um, cyst is one you probably don't see a lot. Um, it, these are syllables. You'll see these in syllables, like the word except has the sept on it. Okay. Anyway, um, but you did good. I wanted you to pay attention to the, the letter that came after the letter C. All right, so let's go on to our spelling, uh, our spelling deck, instant spelling deck. This is where I give you the sounds and you write them on the arrow page, okay? Do you have that? Your paper with the little arrows? Now, when we do uh, our sounds today, I'm going to give you the sound and you will write it in two ways. Letter K with a comma C. But if I give you the S sound, it's still just the letter S because the letter C is irregular for spelling, okay? Does that make sense, Liam? All right, so with Instant Spelling Deck, you're going to look, listen, echo, and then name and write. So we'll start with our first sounds that we just learned today. So can you write for me, name and write the sound, well, first echo, and then name and write the sound A, mm -hmm. comma, C. Good. S. S. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to echo for me. N. Mm. Mm. Nope. M. N. You have to look and listen. N. Mm. N. Mm. Good. E. 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 Thank you. I. E. E. I. Good. Mm. I craft H. Good. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. D. 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 B. 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 That one's a tricky one, huh? Echo of teach. Uh huh. Don't forget to echo. Because mm -hmm. we want to associate the sound with our, what it looks like in your ears all together. We're trying to activate all of our senses. F. That's right. Err. Err. Uh. Uh, you. G. G. O. O. W. Good. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, we already did ah, uh, but I just remembered over we had ah, uh, but you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to do watch ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Mm. Um. Good. Mm. All right. Good job spelling the different sounds. Let's move on to our phonemic awareness. You can put that to the side and pull out your sound tray. 
Okay. All right, with a sound tray, we're going to look, listen, echo, name and write. Sorry, I'm oh, what am I thinking? I'm going to look, listen, echo, unblend, and then pull down the mouth pictures. Okay? So your first, oh, let's review our sound pictures together. Will you touch and name the sound pictures as we go? Okay. So we've got lip puffer, p, b. Lip puffer, b. Tongue tapper, t, d. Tongue tapper, t, d. Back kicker, k, g. Back kicker, k, g. Uh, lip chiller, f, v. Lip Tongue chiller, th, th. And thin streams, z. Front nasal, mm, middle nasal, mm, and back nasal, mm. Middle nasal, mm. Uh, front nasal, mm, middle nasal, mm. Mm. Uh, back nasal, mm. Good. We've got rounded air and panting air. Good. We've got uh, lip, tongue curler, ol, and front curler, ol, side curler, er. Tongue curler, ol, side curler, er. Good. And then we've got our smiling vowels, i, eh, a, eh, a, eh, a. Uh. And our open vowel, ah. Okay. Liam, you ready? Show me er ock. Er, wait, what? Rock? Er yeah. ock. Yeah, er ock. Er All right, so name them as you put them back for me, okay? Oh, looks like you're almost there. Excuse me, I was rushing you. Okay, er, side curler, er. Open mouth, all. Open mouth. And k, what is that? Back kicker. Okay, show me v, k, v. V, k, v. V, k, v. Mm hmm. V, k, v. All right, so the th sound, what do we call that? Uh, th is uh, voiced. A, tongue a voice tongue, tongue chiller. chiller. Good. And the k. Uh, uh, back here. Good. And v. Uh, <sighs> Sure. That's right. Okay, put them back and we're ready to do show me with changes. This is where you look, listen, echo, unblend, and then we pull down our mouth pictures and then we make changes. So I want you to show me. You ready? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Show me the word tack. Echo it. And blend it. Ack. We got three sounds. Okay. If this is tack, t. Make the sounds with me. T. Ah. Then show me stack. Stack. What do we have to add in the initial permission per position? Yes. That's right. Our thin stream. Okay, so you should have four pictures there, right? If this is stack, stack. 
shorts and show me stock. S -t -ock. So what are we changing? That's right, in the medial position, huh? Okay, if this is stock, s -t -ock. show me sock. Echo? Sock. Uh huh. So, what did you have to change to go from stock to sock? Oh, yeah. So, uh. What did you remove? What did you oh, take yeah. away? What did I call you? A tongue tapper. You took okay, a, a tongue tapper. Right. You took the tongue tapper out of the medial position, huh? So now we have sock. Okay. You ready for spelling? You'll need your mouth pictures because we're going to look, listen, echo, unblend, pull down mouth pictures, touch and name the letters. And then on your paper, I need you to have a paper. I want you to write the word and then name and write the word and then code it. Okay. Right. When we're coding today, remember, if you hear a short vowel sound in front of a consonant sound, you write that, the vowel consonant, you code it with a breathe. You, you do need your mouth pictures for spelling, though, Liam. Liam? I do need it? Yep, because we're going to pull down the mouth pictures and then touch and name them, and then write Okay, so the new rule today, though, is if you hear a k sound, if that k sound comes in front of an A, O, U, or a consonant, how do you spell it? Oh, uh, the, like the, with the, you put it with a back kicker. Right, you spell it with a C with a back kicker. You put it with a back kicker. Okay, so you've got your mouth pictures, and you've got something to write, a paper and a pen, right? Okay, then I want you to spell the word craft. Echo it. Echo the word craft. Uh uh, no, don't write it yet. Liam, get your mouth pictures. We want to figure out the sounds before we name the letters that go with them. So, k, r, a, f, t. That's five sounds. You should have five mouth pictures. Okay. okay, so you have them. So uh -huh. this sound makes the letter, would be spelled with the letter C, right? C, uh -huh. R, what vowels, what letter would we write for this vowel sound? Uh, the A, uh -huh. F, and T. Good, now let's name and write it. All right, and how do you code it? Okay, so you have a back kicker and a breathe. Uh -huh. All right, good. So now we're going to write our sentence. We're doing dictation, okay? So when you write a sentence, it begins with a capital letter, ends with a punctuation mark, 
as a subject and a predicate and it forms a complete thought. You will have a couple of sight words in your sentence today. You'll have the word the. That's the first word, so it starts with a capital letter. You're also going to use the word was and the word from. Can you see these on your screen, these sight words? Yeah. Okay, because they will help you in writing your sentence. I'm going to give you your sentence and I want you to echo it. I'll say it again and then you echo again and then write it, okay? Okay, your sentence. The craft was from camp. The craft was from, from camp. The craft was from camp. The craft was from camp. Good. Go ahead and write it and then code it. Okay. All right, you want to show me? The craft was from camp. No, you did an excellent job. I, do I see a punctuation though? This. Uh, that's capital letter. What about a punctuation mark at the end? Good. And it looks like that last word, this happens a lot. The letter N sometimes looks like the letter M. It's hard to remember that extra hump. Look at that word camp. Did you give it the right number of humps to be an M sound? Camp. Okay. Good. Let me do a quick review for you for our new what we've learned today. Good, thank you. So we learned about the letter C today, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Two sounds it makes. What's the regular sound it makes? Huh? Right, and what's an irregular sound? S uh, sitting. S right, we, that's not as common. We hear the sound in front of an E or an I, and you hear the sound in front of what letters? Uh, C. The letter C makes a K sound in front of what letters? A. Uh, a. O. Yeah, A, O. U, U. Or a consonant. Yeah. Okay. Now, tomorrow we're going to be learning a new suffix. A base word and a suffix equals a, what do we call it? Derivative. <laughs> Yeah, derivative. Okay, so far we've learned suffix ing, vowel suffix I ing, means as in standing, doing right now, and consonant suffix s, as in hat, meaning more than one. Okay. Okay, um, you've got this. So we will do that tomorrow.